Urbano, the first, the first time he goes, he don't hit that. I mean, he hits hard, man, but he don't hit that fucking hard like everybody says. Really? Yeah. Well, you know, it's just Urbano being Urbano. Yeah. Like, fuck, I, don't, I don't see what all the big uh, commotion is all about. <laughs> but, um, but they went, they, they had sparred, I think, four times before that, before that one time when he got rocked. Manzanita. We spot Antillon on several occasions. Mm -hmm. and, and, and Valero came back to the corner. He said, Joe, come on now, come on. I said, That's, just go out there. So I just play with it. Well, you know what, Dougie? You went out there and he tagged him. Sparring. Yeah. But I've been watching sparring for 15 years. You know what I mean? Like, you know, out here, world class gym. I've never <laughs> seen, yeah, I've never seen a, a, a sparring session have to get stopped because somebody got hurt until that sparring session but between that's Valero that's and he's, he's a, I think that he's one of those freaks of nature, you know, that, um, that has that power. That he's like the Julian Jackson of the back in the days. That all it takes was one punch and he landed that punch and the fight was over. And I think that's where Edwin Valera has that. But it's not it's not common. You know, it's not something that we use often. Yeah, body shots, you know. Yeah, you right. see those often. Yeah. But not yeah. not to the chin or to the head, you know. Right. Yeah. Did that. I'm surprised he's staying on his feet, I gotta tell you. Bono's a toast on yeah, SOB, man. He's, oh, I know that. He, he's a tough. And, and he knows how to, he knows how to, oh, if you saw him against Valle, you know, he knows how to survive. Right. He finds a way. But, but he, uh, he did, he got hurt because, like I said, you know, he, he went, he reached for him, you know, something he knows he's not supposed to be doing, but, but he made a mistake and, and the other guy counted on it and got him. Then we came back to another gym here in uh, Maywood. Maywood. Mm -hmm. And sparred Antillon again. And I told uh, Rudy, 
I told Rudy, I said, Rudy, you sure you were? Yeah, Joe, we went to kit. I said, you shouldn't spar with him. He didn't. Again, he didn't stagger him. He didn't hurt him, but it was just vicious. I mean, Valero was... Yeah, he beat him up all over his body. Oh, he destroyed him. I remember Jordan and his meal, though. You know, you're going you're gonna to get your boy hurt. You're going to get your boy hurt. You don't, you know, you don't want to do this. You know, I'm telling you. I go, you know what, Joe? I go, I want it and he wants it. And we want to, you know, we, we just need to be reassured again. He's just a freak of nature. And, and like I said, Armando, Jose Armando Santa Cruz is the only one to ever hold his own against him. You know? Santa Cruz never seen him get hurt by Valero. Never. Mm -hmm. Never seen Santa Cruz get hurt. As a matter of fact, he's, a lot of times Santa Cruz was the one dominating him. He would always dominate him with, with, the, straight, with the straight face. Physically because Mon imposing. Physically imposing. Yeah. Santa Cruz had his, had his number only because he would go to straight punches. Those long arms of him would, would neutralize that, um, that, uh, that right hook. And also, um, he had to stay active because if you, if, if you stand there with him, he'll hit you in the arms. Right. But if you keep those, and the moment he's moving, you get those arms out, then he can't hit you in the arms. And you don't, you're not going to feel, you're not going to feel that, the pain because they, they did, they did claim to be hurt. But there's a fight that he had in Japan, Dougie, that uh, I didn't see Valero in the ring. Right, that was against Hiro Banda, one yes. of his comeback fights. I saw Valero. Going out there, they, 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 in a style which was worse than the style that he first had when he first came here to the right. U.S. I saw him go back to the old days, and then probably beyond, maybe at the beginning of his career, where he was just trying to knock these people out without even thinking in the ring. Right. What I see for you know, maybe for this particular fight coming up, which is a title fight for Valero, if the real Valero comes out, the real monster, 
and then with, with, with the finesse that he's learned throughout and the experience throughout his 18 fights comes out he'll think in the ring but if we see the, the monster that we saw in Japan it's going to be very difficult you think he's going to beat uh, Mascara? Yeah. the guy likes to fight right Mascara is a macho guy yeah, yeah so so I think the moment he gets tagged, that's it. Fight's over. I think it, I don't think the fight goes more than two rounds. Mosquera have a he have a lot of rounds more in, in, in Valero. He have a, he's supposed to have more experience in in either he's go to the Olympians. But uh, I think Valero because these guys he have a lot of discipline. He have a lot of discipline. He's working hard in the gym. Uh, and, and about this fight for the championship fight, I think he's working like an animal. I know Valero. Valero going to go in there and destroy this young man from the, from the, <laughs> from the first get-go. Mm -hmm. He's going to go in there once he lands the first few shots on this youngster. I don't think that uh, Mosqueda can uh, absorb the punishment that Valero will give him. Mm. He's not going to go in there and think. I, I think I know Valero a little, which is raw, mind you. Mm. Because I think, you know, you get an experienced champion like Mosqueda, could, could, could time you, make you miss, tie you up, and, and you know... And fight dirty. Yeah, right. Mosqueda employs right. a lot of rough keep, stuff. Keeps his hands up and then let you shoot to the body, sidestep you, anything can happen. I don't think Valero will, will, will fall into that trap. I think mm -hmm. Valero will come out aggressive. I think Valero, the, the Valero I know, I hope he's learned how to keep his hands up. I hope he's learned how, how to use his footwork for defense. I don't think so. I think that uh, the adrenaline, the, the idea of going for that world title, yeah. he's going to go back to being the Valero that came here from Venezuela, and he's going to go out there and he's going to try to destroy him, and I think he's going to accomplish that. I think his mission is, I am going to destroy him. I'm going to kill you, and that's exactly what he's going to do. He's going to destroy him. I'm not saying kill him, you know, for the word to, but he's going to destroy Mosqueda.